My beautiful children, my gifts from God, don't cry. Let the wicked one not know that you have arrived. such a beautiful day. What stops us from going for a swim in the river? What did I hear you say? That we would like to go swimming. No, no, no. You can't go. You will not go. Aya. Uh... But why? At least give us a good reason not to. And Aya, don't you think that we are grown enough to even go hunting for antelope meat? To improve our diet? Yes. Why don't you try us to see if we are still children or actually grown-ups? For now, children, this is what it is. You will not go to the river. It is better this way. The time will come for you to understand why I am this protective about you. Aya, before we go to bed, you must answer some important questions for us. Yes, my children. Aya, this is a very big piece of land we have here. Are we the only owners? Are we the only human beings living? How, how, how then did we come to be? And, and don't we have some... All right, all right, children, I will speak. I never wanted this day to come. Because of the painful memories involved. But it's unavoidable. You must know the truth that you were not the only inhabitants of this beautiful land. Nearly 20 years ago, this land was filled with beautiful people and all kinds of animals. Your father, uncles, aunties, elder siblings were all here with me. We were a large happy family. One day, a terrible monster visited our community and devoured all the animals together with them. I, alone with you in my womb, escaped the dreadful creature. I ran and hid here. This is where we have been since then. I hope now you understand why I can't let you wander far from here. Although, I haven't seen the monster since then. I can't tell if it has left our land. Aya, you are very brave. We owe you our life. Aya, don't worry. We shall kill that monster. Boys, you have no idea what the monster is like. The best you can do is to avoid an encounter with it. Boys be. Have they gone to hunt for the monster already? How could I have been so careless as to tell the story of the monster to my fiery boys? But how could I have kept the secret from them anymore? No, 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 no. I wouldn't be able to bear it. And I smell. Uh, I feel uh, humans. Uh, how can that be? Didn't I devour every single one of them? Hmm. Uh, given that weird dream I had last night of a pregnant woman, uh, human beings. <laughs> Very, very clever. You can never tell. 
<laughs> My children, where have you been for three whole days? You had me worried. No reason to worry or be afraid of the monster. We are ready for it now. Are you sure of what you're saying, my boys? We are ready, Aya. But you must help us to succeed. How may I help you, my boys? We want you to call the monster. Bait it to come to visit us. Yes, tell it we exist so it may pay us a visit. This is a very dangerous game you're asking me to play with you. How can I? Aya, there is no other way. We must meet it if we have to defeat it. Okay, I will do my part if you know what you're doing. Good, Aya. Monster, oh monster, up here and the dong monster. Ever since monster, I gave birth to the monster. They've never seen you, monster. Come, 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 monster. May they see you, monster, oh monster. <coughs> Woman, you actually exist. <laughs> My dream. My dream is becoming a reality. <laughs> this is for my dad, who never had the pleasure of holding us in his arms. And for my aunt, who would have loved me. And for my elder siblings. And mother, for your great courage. <laughs> I have forgotten my smoking pipe in there. How can I live without my pipe? I must rush back for it. Hey, Grandmother, where are you going? Why are you going back there, Granny? Do you like the monster's belly that much, old woman? 